Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will guide you how to make an audio amplifier circuit with integrated speaker protection circuit. In case of electrical problems, your expensive speakers will be safely protected. A switching power supply circuit using ICIR to 153 with overload and short circuit protection function. With 350 watt capacity power combined with an audio amplifier circuit. We will have a compact but powerful audio amplifier. The circuit uses common components that you can easily buy at electronic stores. The advantages of switching power supplies over iron transformers are compactness, lightweight, and strength. The protection functions can be changed easily. I believe that you can easily implement this circuit with a high probability of success. I will talk detail about the operating principle block diagram of the circuit for you to understand after some introductory information about my partner JLCPCB. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. JLCPCB is the full-service electronic manufacturer. JLCPCB's innovative one-stop service model makes production highly efficient by tightly integrating EDA software, PCB fabrication, parts purchase, stencil cutting, and SMT assembly. Black Friday 2020 for deals from November 25th to December 15th. JLCPCB is offering massive discounts and incredible giveaways during its Black Friday sale. Enjoy savings of up to $252 and a guaranteed prize with every entry, including a chance to win a Samsung 55 gaming monitor or Genio drone. Now visit the link below description for exclusive deals and a chance to win amazing prizes. This is a result after one week. The box and circuit are from JLCPCB. The circuit is drawn on a board. You can easily create it manually. It is best to use the file I shared to order the circuit from JLCPCB. This will help the circuit not be noisy. This is the schematic diagram of the audio amplifier circuit. The circuit is divided into three main blocks. The first block is the input amplifier circuit. The circuit uses the NE5532 IC, which is a popular audio amplifier IC. With the above resistance values, we have a circuit amplification factor of 12 times. That is, the signal amplitude value after being amplified will be 12 times larger than the input signal amplitude value. Next is the power section. The circuit uses to power transistors operating in class of amplification mode. It will give 120 watts of power with a 4 ohm load. Final is the protection circuit and soft start. The circuit helps protect the speaker in case DC voltage enters the speaker. At that time, the relay will disconnect the speaker from the circuit and the speaker will be protected. This is the 350 watt switching power supply. That I introduced to you, the circuit operates on the half bridge principle with the switching transformer removed from the computer power source and rewired. Now, we will assemble the components into the circuit. The circuit is divided into three areas for three blocks. Amplifier block, power block, and protection block. We will assemble in order, paying attention to assemble the components from low to high, inside to outside, and small to large. Some components we need to check to make sure it is working properly. This can be done with AVOM meter, or if you buy genuine components, this is not necessary. In this circuit, there are some important components. Among them are Zener diodes, which are used to create a reference voltage for the amplifier and protection blocks to operate. I have many types of Zener diodes, but they are stored together. So I made a simple circuit to test them. The voltage value displayed on the LED screen is the value of the Zener diode. If you like, I will share it with you another time. In this circuit, we will need 15 volt Zener diode. They supply power to the NE555 IC to work. With 24 volt Zener diode, they will supply power to the DC voltage protection block. 
If the voltage value is not 20 for volt, the circuit may not work properly. In the schematic diagram, we used to power transistors to SC5200 and to SA1945. However, we can use other common transistors instead, such as B668 and D718, and the results are still the same. Now we will connect the power supply to the amplifier circuit. We need to check the connection wires and the direction of the voltage before turning on the power. We will check the power supply voltage for the circuit. The required voltage is about 35 volts. Next is the power supply voltage for the amplifier circuit. The required voltage is 15 volts. The voltage for the protection block is 20 for volts. Make sure the voltage values of these blocks are correct as above. If not, check the Zener diodes. There may be a fault here or they are broken. Replace them and measure again. The bias voltage values of the transistors are 0.24 volts. This value helps the transistors not to get hot when in standby mode. However, the sound will be slightly distorted when the volume is turned on very low. Everything will become normal when we turn the volume up. I have shown you how to make an audio amplifier with DC protection circuit attached. Good luck! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time.